Welcome to the 2019-20 NCAA Men's Basketball Weekly Whistle Video number 15. This is J.D. Collins, the NCAA National Coordinator of Men's Basketball Officiating. Officials have been directed to continue their efforts to reduce physicality to create freedom of movement. This weekly whistle video will focus on backcourt violations. Number one white throws an errant pass to number two white who deflects the ball toward the backcourt. As number two white retrieves the ball, he steps on the half court line. The trail official in good position correctly calls a backcourt violation on number two white. Number three white dribbles the ball in the post and throws an errant pass toward the backcourt. No one touches the ball before it gets to the backcourt. As number 24 white retrieves the ball in the backcourt, the trail official correctly calls a backcourt violation on number 24 white. Number 4 white fumbles a pass off his knee toward half court. Number 4 white secures the ball in the air, lands on his left foot in the backcourt, and then throws the ball to his teammate in the front court. This is a backcourt violation and needed to be called. Number zero, black, dribbles the ball to the wing and then back out front. Number 11, blue, deflects the ball toward half court. Number zero, black, regains control of the ball in the front court and then steps on the half court line. The trail official correctly calls a back court violation on number zero, black. Number one, blue, dribbles the ball at mid court and loses control of the ball. As both teams try to secure the ball, both teams deflect the ball toward half court. Since the ball was deflected by the defense, either team may secure the ball in the back court. Number 25 blue is standing on the half court line when he legally secures control of the ball. Standing on the line gives him back court status and allows him to pivot into the back court. The trail official correctly no calls this play. During this throw-in, number 24 red deflects the throw-in pass to the back court. Rule 9-12.6 says, regardless of where the throw-in spot is located, the throw-in team may cause the ball to go into the back court before player control has been established by the throw-in team on the playing court. When number 24 red deflects the ball, he has not gained player control status on the court and is allowed to recover the ball legally in the back court. There is a lot going on during this play. Number zero white gains control of a loose ball in the front court. His pass to number one white is fumbled, then deflected by number 15 black, causing a loose ball. Number three white gets to the loose ball first and tips the ball over the defender toward the back court. Number four white, who jumps from the back court, catches and then passes the ball to his teammate located in the front court. The trail official incorrectly calls a backcourt violation. This is a legal play because either team may secure the ball in the backcourt after the defense deflected the ball. This is a great time of year for everyone that loves college basketball. Good luck to your team this season. Thank you for your interest in college basketball.